Hey man, hey man, you already know who it is. Your boy Boosted Fit checking in with another video and today we are going to be doing a back and bicep superset. I know I haven't been posting much to YouTube because I've been trying to get some merchandise out there so you guys can rep that Boosted Fit Nation and I'm back on it. I'm back on the road to 1K subscribers and I want y'all to enjoy every single minute with me. Enough with the small talk, we're gonna start the workout off with reverse grip pull down, superset with overhead bicep curls. If you know me, then you know I hate ego lifting, so don't ego lift people. You wanna go a little heavy on the reverse grip pull down, then lighten the weight, and do your reverse curl with a lighter weight. If you ego lift during this workout, I promise you will not finish. I repeat, do not ego lift because you will not finish the workout. Each superset will consist of a back exercise and a bicep exercise. The back exercise is six reps and the bicep exercise is 15 reps. You wanna keep the rest period short. I don't want you taking too long, taking a break, stopping, doing this, doing that before you go back to the next set. Once you do the back exercise, go straight into the bicep exercise. And then you take a 45 second to a one minute break and then you are back for another round with a total of three rounds. Doing the pull down with a reverse grip helps to place more emphasis on the lower lats. And I know everybody wants a big back. When you do the pull down with a reverse grip or underhand grips, whatever you want to call it, your elbows move out in front of your body. As you pull the bar down to your chest, the elbows move from being in front of your body to down by your side. As far as the overhead bicep curls, I don't want to move from this machine, so I'm going to do them on the lat pull down machine because I don't want to get up and go to another machine and that kind of kill my momentum. So I'm staying right here. I'm going to change the weight and I'm going to get right back into it. And I want you guys to do the same thing. Isolate, isolate, isolate. That's the key to having sky high bicep peaks and add definition to your arms, in my opinion. The overhead cable curl target both heads of the bicep, the middle of your arms, between the biceps and the triceps, and your forearm. Plus your guns look amazing while you are performing the exercise. Woo! Big blood! Complete that superset for three rounds. Then you move to the seated cable row, find your wide attachment, and then you do seated cable row with the wide attachment for six reps. Then you lay back a little bit, Put your hands on the inside, lighten the weight, and then you do bicep curls. If your gym does not have this attachment, make do with what you have. There are many variations of each exercise that I'm doing, and I want you to get the job done. I don't want you to make an excuse about the gym equipment. Just get the job done. Some of you may have never seen these exercises, but I'm trying to give you something different. Because if you keep doing the same thing every day, I promise you, you will get the same results. Remember, you will do six heavy reps for the bicep exercise, then you lighten the weight and do 15 reps for the bicep exercise. When you go forward, I want you to feel that last strip. And when you bring your arms back in, make sure your elbows are behind you and squeeze your back muscles until you feel it contracting. If you can't feel your back contracting, then you are not doing it right. That means you don't have any mind-muscle connection, and I want you to get mind-muscle connection so you can really feel your muscles doing what they're supposed to do. When doing the bicep curls, make sure you don't lean back too far. Have your head up just a little bit. And when you're extending your arms or bring your arms back in, once you feel the muscle contraction leaving, then you need to stop right there and go forward or backwards. Say, man, I don't want y'all taking a break, man. No, to my go straight into the next exercise. This is a real super set. Charge! Hey, since this is the last set, man, we're gonna turn it up or not, man. No, to my. We're gonna take it up to 200, baby. Let's go, baby. Ah. Ah. Please! Ah. As you can see, I wasn't ego lifting on the back part of the exercise. I was doing good reps and I was squeezing and I would let you know I was squeezing because I'm pretty sure y'all heard me making all those noise. As you can see, I'm trying to isolate my bicep and make them grow. I usually focus on one body part more each month because I have lagging body parts and everybody does. So this month is going to be my arms and I'm going to focus more on my arms to get my arms a little bigger and try to pump some big blood inside my arms. The last two exercises of this workout will be standing dumbbell row, superset with standing 
dumbbell hammer curl. I know I keep saying this, but I really want you guys to get it. I want six heavy reps for the back exercise, and I want 15 light reps with the bicep exercise. Even though the weight is light, I still want that muscle contraction, and if the weight is heavy, I still want that same muscle contraction and create that mind-muscle connection with your muscles and your mind, and that way you'll know whatever workout you are doing, the muscles that's supposed to be firing, they're gonna be firing and you're gonna feel it. And you will feel a big difference in your body and you will notice a big difference in your body. I promise you, you will. The bent over dumbbell row targets muscles in your upper and lower back as well as your arms. The bent over dumbbell row gives you three for the price of one. And I know everybody likes three for the price of one. Once you are done with the bent over dumbbell row, go straight into the dumbbell hammer curls and make sure you are squeezing and pumping as much blood into those biceps as you can. Say man, the game that I'm giving you is free 99. The only thing I ask you for is a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Chat.